Ito na ay Thai Kapuso. Pairam po ng 20 minutes ng inyong hapon. Ako po si Boy, and welcome to Fast Talk with Boy Abunda. Maraming salamat. Special po ang ating palabas ngayong hapon. We're doing uh, a back-to-back -back talk edition. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Makikita nyo po at malalaman nyo. We have two guests today, and dalawa po ang ating palabas in one show. How are we going to do it? Paano po? Hindi ko alam. <laughs> but please welcome, Ken Chan. Yeah! Hi. Tito Boy. Salamat, Ken. Salamat din po, Tito Boy. And Michelle D. Hi, Michelle. Maraming maraming salamat. How are you guys doing? Ken, kumusta? Medyo kinakabahan kami ni Michelle kanina, sabi namin. Sabi ko kay Michelle, parang, anong mas kinakabahan? Ng Miss Universe o dito? <laughs> medyo, medyo ito. Kasi with pageants, you only have 30 seconds. Take it or leave it. Here, you can explain, you can expound. That's right. I mean, ako naman umagri. No. The thing is, kwentuhan lamang ito. Sabi ko nga, nanay, tatay, kasama ko kayo dito sa kwentuhan ito. But uh, the idea is, we will be able to do fast talk and the talk with both Ken and Michelle. Michelle, I will do Ken first. Uh, I will do fast talk and the talk with Ken, okay? Diyan ka lamang. Pero kung meron kang sasabihin, uh, pwedeng pwede. <laughs> Ken, maraming salamat. Thank you, Tito Boy. Salamat. It's, like, it's, it's a goal, you know? It, yeah, wow, thank you. Maraming maraming salamat. Let's start with fast talk. Apo. Okay? Uh, you don't prepare for fast talk, actually. You just listen to it. Uh, ang hindi nila alam, pag hindi naman ako sinasagot sa fast talk, okay lang sa <laughs> Okay. At least, right. meron ang clue. Ken, Chinay, Pinay? Pinay. Close o claws? Claws. Mainit, malamig? Ma malamig. Halik o yakap? Halik. Cash, clash? Cash. Christmas, Valentine's? Christmas. Best robe? My special tatay, Boyet. Mm, biggest achievement? Uh, yung mga ginawa kong teleserye dito, Boy. Best asset? My smile. Wow. Destiny Rose, special tatay? Both. Versatile actor or leading man? Versatile actor. Kailan ang first kiss? 13 years old. Wow. First love? Uh, 17 years old. First heartbreak? Uh, 17 years old. Showbiz crush? Um, heart evangelista. Sex is part of your body? My eyes. Uy. Time of the day you feel sexy. Uh, sa gabi. Oo hindi. Na busted ng nililigawan. Daming beses. Oo hindi. In love ka ba ngayon? Hindi pa. Romcom, drama. Drama. Acting, business. Both. Dream role. Um, mga mga indigenous people dito sa Pilipinas. Lights on, lights off. Lights off. Happiness, chocolates. Happiness. Best time for chocolates. While having my happiness. Complete the sentence. <laughs> Masaya ako ngayon dahil? Masaya ako ngayon dahil nandito ako. Kausap kita, Tito. <laughs> Maraming salamat. Uh, in love ka ba? Hindi pa. Hindi ko malilimutan yung pa. Pa. <laughs> Dapat pala, hindi ko na sinabi yung pa. <laughs> Pag-uusapan natin yan. But Ken, you know, you just turned 30, January 17. Yes. Tama? At 30, ano ang gusto mo? At 30, nasaan ka ngayon sa buhay mo? Sabi nila, Tito Boy, kapag 30 years old ka, nandito yung pressure eh. Actually, totoo pala yun. Nararamdaman ko Pressure? Siya. Pressures about about life. Ka, parang may, may, ako kasi, Tito Boy, meron akong timeline. Meron akong timeline na pag 28 years old ako, dapat may ganito ako. Pag 30, ganito. Pag 35, kasal na ako. So, nandito na ako sa 30 years old. So, what old. is your goal at 30? Na maput up ko lahat yung mga dreams na business ko. Okay. And talking about business, meron ka na. You know, yes. you have your restaurant. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's Cafe Gloss. All year round, I Pasko sa yung restaurant. Opo. And then, uh, you, would, you, you produced some movies. Yes, nagumpisa po ako na magproduce sa mga pelikula ngayon. So, you're getting into business. Yes, po. How much are you worth? Gaano ka kayaman? <laughs> <laughs> ano ba? Nagumpisal pa lang ako dito, boy, na, na magkumawa ng empire. Yun yung isa sa pangarap. I like that. Talaga naman. Diba? How do you handle your money? Um, I have um, I have my own accountant and uh, nung 2019 hinayaan ako nung magulang ko na hawakan yung sarili kong pera para matrain ako and yun yung ginagawa ko nakatulong sa akin lahat ng yun dito boy you, you earn halimbawa 10,000 pesos paano mo hinahati-hati yan? may pang utilities may how, how do you manage? you know what sabi, sabi ng magulang ko dito boy kapag kumita ako ng 10 piso yung 10 na piso itago ko yung piso yun yung panggasos ko. Pero medyo mahirap yun. Mahirap. So, ang oh. ginawa ko, pitong piso yung tinatago ko ngayon. Tapos yung tatlong piso, 
ang pinanggagasos ko. Okay. And uh, you keep on referring to your parents. Pagdating ba sa negosyo, pagdating ba sa, di ba yung uh, sinasabi nila, ang galing magnegosyo po ng mga Chinese. <laughs> Dahil, <laughs> hindi, ako kinalakhan ko yan na hindi hinahabol yung gana. Mm -hmm. Oo, kahit pa kunti-kunti ang gana, basta tuloy-tuloy ang negosyo. Opo. Uh, sabi din niya ng aking mga magulang. Pangalawa, kayo ba ay na naroon pa rin sa tradisyon na dapat ang napapangasawa ay taga-komunidad, dapat Chinese din? Wala na, Tito Boy. Ah, wala na yun. Opo. Nung kinausap ko si Papa... Yung present Chinois ngayon, wala oh, na yun. Wala na yun, Tito Boy. Right. Nung kinausap mo, I'm sorry. Nung kinausap ko po si Papa, okay lang ba kung uh, Filipina ang maging girlfriend ko? Sabi niya, tignan mo nga ako, Pinay yung mama mo. Okay. So, walang problema doon dito. We, we, hindi kami na ganun sa... Na, lumaki kami na meron kaming uh, Chinese culture sa bahay. Pero yung traditional about love, hindi nag -aano. Okay, love. Tatawid ako doon. <laughs> I don't know if this has something to do with love. But I think you posted or you vlogged. Hindi, hindi ako sigurado. Apo. And uh, kung naalala ko, ang, uh, ang sinabi mo ay hindi naman talaga may iiwasan na may mga taong iiwan ka at sasaktan, sasaktan ka. ka. Ano yun? Take me there. Uh, Anong ibig sabihin nun? Uh, I'll be honest, Tito Boy. Yes, uh, please. Last uh, four months ago, nag, may, may pumasok ako sa, hindi ko masasabing commitment, but meron ako nagugustuhan ng isang babae na at the end of the day, hindi naging maayos yung samahan namin because um, iniwan niya ako. Kaya nasabi ko na iniwan at nasaktan ako. Uh, Napag-usapan natin. I'll push it a little bit, but you may or you may not answer me. Taga showbiz, kilala namin. Non-showbiz, Tito Boy. Non-showbiz. So, yung pay na yun ang gagaling doon. Yeah. Okay. Um, your tandem with uh, Rita Daniela worked. Yes. It, it, it worked, no? Yeah. Uh, what, what happened? Nag-away kayo? Hindi kami nag-away, Tito, pero meron kaming... Um, hindi pagkasunduan. I, 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 I'll, be, I'll be honest, Tito. Yeah, please. Uh, sabihin mo lang yung kaya mong sabihin. Um, dumating kasi sa point kami ni Rita, tito, totoo pala yun, no? posible ka pala talagang mahulog sa ka-love team mo. Akala ko kasi dati hindi totoo yun eh. Okay. Parang kaya mong pigilan. Actually kami ni Rita, meron kaming pangako sa isa't isa noon. Sabi namin, oh walang may in-love sa isa't isa. Okay. Walang may in-love. So sandali, ang tanong, na-in-love ka kay Rita? Yes po. Okay. You And um, actually... But was it reciprocated? Yes. Ah, okay. So inamin namin sa isa't isa kung gaano namin kamahal yung isa't isa. More than friends, more than katrabaho, beyond that. Pero alam namin yung limitasyon namin eh. May sarili siyang mga priorities. Ako din, Tito Boy, yung pangapanahon na yun, pinaliwanag ko sa kanya, nasa point ako na tinatayo ko yung mga business na gusto ko. Okay. And I really wanna focus dun sa business and sa karir ko dito sa industriya natin. So, naintindihan naman niya, pero hindi ko naiwasan na saktan siya. Nasaktan ko siya. Yeah, because we saw that in her posts. Yeah. Pero naayos ba? Nagkapatawaran ba? Uh, ikaw ba'y napatawad na ni Rita? Yes, dito. Actually, ah, after yeah. nito, magkikita kaming dalawa. Ah, that's very good. Bibisitayin okay. ko siya at yung baby niya. Okay. Very good. Ito na lamang. Uh, I'm quite close to your uncle. Architect Kakwen, if you're there. Sabi uncle. mo, Atiken, lahat ng ginagawa ng buhay ko, including by signing of the contract <laughs> dito, sa, dito sa GMA7, magtataka yun sa labang, sa Janine. Sabi ko, I can only sign my contract Sunday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Ayun na sinabi ni Kagawan, ni kagawan niya ng tiyuhin mo. <laughs> okay. Um, but was it 2018 or 2019? Hindi ko alam. Ah, hindi ako sigurado. But you discovered na kayo ay ang limang pamilya ng inyong ama. Yes po, Tito Boy. How did you manage that? Being the eldest, paano ka nabago ng discovery na yan? Sobrang pinabago ko nung sitwasyon na yun dito. I think I became a better person after that. And uh, ako yung tumayo na parang tatay o padre de pamilya ng pamilya namin simula nung nawala si Papa at pinili niya yung ibang pamilya. At naintindihan ko siya doon kasi kami yung pinakahuli eh. Why do you understand him? Why do you understand your father na pang lima kayo? Dahil, Paano mo naiintindihan yun? Dahil may nauna sa amin dito at siguro um, talagang dapat lang napiliin niya yung kung sino yung nauna sa amin dahil yun yung tama. At yun yung naiintindihan ko at yun yung doon ako nanguhugot at pinagagaling ko. Nilagay ko yung sitwasyon ko sa kanya. Sabi ko din sa sarili ko, kung mangyayari sa akin yun, pipiliin ko din kung sino yung Ken, nauna. Dahil yun ang tama at ang pili sa inyo ay mali? Hindi ko masasabi. Anong kinalaman ng isang anak sa mga desisyon ng mga magulang na doon? I, I, I just want to okay. challenge that. Wa, saan kayo inilagay? 
Um, dumating sa point dito, boy, na pinapili ni Mama si Papa. Sa amin o sa kanila. At ang sabi ng Papa? Sa kanila. At dumating sa point na hindi na rin kami masyadong nakakapag-usap ni Papa ngayon. And dumating sa point na... Pero hindi ako nagtanim ng sama ng loob dito, boy. Pero sa nagalit ka, hindi? Hindi. Bakit? Hindi ko din alam. Actually, ba't hindi ka nagalit na pinili ang ibang pamilya at hindi kayo? <sighs> Honest, eto, sabi ko, nanonood yung mama ko ngayon. Ngayon lang niya malalaman niya. Actually, masaya pa ako dito, boy. Kasi may Dahil? mga kapatid ako sa labas. Ah, okay. Masaya ako na marami kami. Pero syempre, para sa nanay ko, masakit yun para sa syempre. kanya. Syempre. Pero sa akin bilang isang anak, hindi talaga ako nagalit. Hindi ako nakaramdam ng sama ng loob sa tatay ko. Honestly, mas, mas naging masaya ako kasi mas malaki yung pamilya ko. I'm trying to understand, but I don't. I'll be very honest. Pero iginagalang ko ang iyong opinion. Uh, Ken, pag said na said ka, in times na ayaw mo na, last question, in times na ayaw mo na, saan ka kumakapit? Saan ka pumupunta? Kanino ka nagsusumbong? Unang-una kay Lord. Pupunta lang ako dyan sa, sa chapel, kahit madaling araw, dito sa Timog. And then, of course, my family. Sa kanila ako makapit, sa pamilya ko, Tito Boy. Hindi ko ipakita, pwedeng ipakita sa kanila na, na nangihina ako o napanghinaan ako ng loob kasi ako yung pinanghawakan nila. Ang tapang mo. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat for sharing your story with us. Thank you, Tito Totoo yun. Salamat din ah, Dadalhin ko yan, pag-iisipan ko yan, saan ba kami ni Ken nagkakaunawaan, sa, saan kami hindi. Pero, I honor, I honor, I honor you. Thank you, Tito Boy. At maraming salamat for sharing your story. Po. Thank you, Bo. Thank you very much, Ken. Mabuhay ka. And God bless you. Thank you, Tito Boy. Salamat. Katulad ng sabi ho namin kanina, ito'y uh, back-to-back uh, special edition. Back-to-back -back talk edition. Um, ngayon naman ay magsisimula kami ni Michelle. But Michelle, I just have a couple of questions. What a story. You heard that, no? Crazy story. Yeah, yeah, but, I feel for you, Ken. Really. Thank you. Pero, Saan ang gagaling yung tapang? I want to understand that and overcoming the pain. Pero Michelle, ako, uh, you just turned 20, you're about to turn 27? I'm about to turn 28, Tito 28, Boy, yes. okay. At 27, dahil huwag natin 28 muna. At 27, ano din yung state of mind mo? At 27, what do you want? At 27, where are you in your life? At pag said na said ka rin, pag medyo ayaw ko na uh, na state, kanino ka nagsusumbo? Ang mga kasagutan po sa pagbabalik ng Fast Talk with Boy Abundo. Back here on the show, nanay, tatay, kapuso. Kasama ko po si Michelle D. Parang anak ko na po ito. Yes, Hi, Michelle. Hello, boy. Hello. Talk about Orduha. Oh my gosh, mga kapuso, abangan niyo po talaga ang mga lihim na Orduha. We've spent so much time and effort on it. It's... Kaabang-abang po talaga siya, fantasy, may historical aspect, we're big on women empowerment, but please abangan niyo yung character ko. Si Freya, it's a different side and also my favorite character to date na ginampanan ko. Ngayon, February 27 po mga kapuso, malapit na malapit na. Congratulations. Let's do fast talk. Woo, okay, game. <laughs> okay, Michelle, D, do. Do. Universe, world. <gasps> Miss International 1979. <laughs> <laughs> Supermodel, superwoman. Superwoman, of course. Beauty brain. Beauty brains. Di pa tapos, di pa handa. Di pa tapos. Competitive, seductive. Ooh, competitive. Sunrise, sunset. Sunset. Bundok, dagat. Dagat. Short hair, long hair. Short hair. Kilay, kulay. Kulay? Sneakers or stiletto. Oh my gosh, sneakers all day. <laughs> stripe, strike. Strike. Witches, wizard. Wizard, Harry Potter, please. <laughs> Pizza, pasta. Pizza. Fruits, veggies. Fruits. Bawang, sibuyas. Bawang. Time or money? Time. Celebrity crush. Ah! Ah! Madami tito, boy. Ano Top na? of mind. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Brad Pitt. D dream celebrity date. Ah, uh, Brad Pitt. <laughs> Nakailang boyfriends ka na? Two? Di <laughs> alam ng parents kayo. I like two. the two. <laughs> guilty or not guilty? Umiiyak kapag natatalo? Siyempre, umiiyak. Guilty or not guilty? Ginagawang ulam ang spaghetti? Not guilty. Guilty or not guilty? Natutulog with makeup on? Guilty as yes, charged. <laughs> Fictional character ka? Sino ka? Uh, Wonder Woman. Happiness or chocolates? 
Happiness. Best time for happiness. Pag stress na stress. <laughs> Complete the sentence. I deserve the crown because. I deserve the crown because I've worked my whole life to build a platform to really inspire people to become their best self. At 27, Michelle, nasaan ka? At 27, ano ang gusto mo? Alam mo, Tito Boy, I'm so grateful for everything na pagdaanan ko, pero hindi pa ako tapos. Hindi pa talaga because I am a go-getter. I have dreams. I have aspirations. Kahit marami na po na accomplish in entrepreneurship, show business, and pageantry, feeling ko kulang pa rin. I still owe it to my future self and my future kids to really do something about it and really make my mark in history. I can always feel the, the, the energy. <laughs> February 14, uh, you submitted your application. Yes, you became an official candidate of uh, the Miss Universe Philippines 2023. Yes, three. Yes, four. Okay. Um, nabasa ko that you wanted to do it not just for yourself, pero para din sa yung mga supporters. Yes, but it's May mga ilang katanungan lamang because you had that crown, no? Miss Universe Philippines uh, Tourism. It's not a crown. It's a ah, title. It's, lang. it's a title. Opo. Opo. So, ano yun? Like, you had to resign? Did you have to uh, return the prizes? Uh, what happened um, there? Ano po, because I did have to consult with the organization before making the decision, and they said that as long as I apply, then it is an automatic resignation. Okay. So, in terms of the prize naman po, it, it was a cash prize for winning the title. Of course, Natapos na rin naman yung deliverables namin, maybe may okay. konti lang. Right. And me with my other fellow candidate actually were in the same position because we were both title holders last year. Okay, ang importante, nakipag-usap sa organizers yes. at pumayag ang organizers. Yes po, they're very supportive. Do you have a different game plan pagdating sa contest ngayong taong ito? What did you do right and what did you do wrong last year na babaguhin o i-retain mo ngayong taong ito? Tito Boy, I, I really believe na ako kasi I'm my worst critic. Eh. I, I appreciate constructive criticism through and through and I take it to heart. Pero last year kasi I really feel na I fell short sa relatability ko. Hindi ko na share ang stories and struggles ko. And kung bakit ako matapang or bakit ako strong like my mom. So there is a side of me that I really need people to see. Um, that I'm not as privileged as people think that I am. That I I do had a hard childhood also. Hello, Tito Boy, bakit ganyan? Um, ayun po. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna work on is really to make sure that people hear that. And that's you like really uh, relate, relatability. Relatability. Difficult childhood. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah, Tito Boy, kasi ano eh. Hindi pa uso yung social media then. So, I don't know if alam ng mga tao na my mom and my, my dad had a rough, rough marriage. So, kaya kami lumipat sa States is to get away from that trauma. That's why I grew up in the States. Um, because my mom wanted to pre protect us from the noise. But of course, since it's, it's marriage, lagi nag yung mom ko, my stepdad. Um, and I actually grew up with parent figures or people around me that would criticize every move that I make. People don't know that I, me and my sister, we were the only two Asians in Utah. So we were subject to a lot of racism. Uh, and then to top that off, I grew up with two autistic siblings, so parang major Adam's family yung yung atake. But I'm so grateful for my mom, so grateful for my my dad, my grandmother, especially my mom because she's the one who really taught me how to stay strong, to believe in the goodness and your worth, and to show that to people. So just like my mom, I really just want to inspire people to achieve their best self and to take that struggle and turn it into your, your strength. You were bullied. That's what you're trying to say. Yes, I was bullied. How bad was the bullying? Siyempre, kasi hindi pa ako ganun katangkad before, di ba? Physical ito, Michelle. Siyempre. I wouldn't say as far as like being beaten up, but siyempre, you would... We lived in a very small paper town. Okay. Paper town 
in, in Utah. So they didn't really understand Asian culture. They didn't understand bakit, bakit ho, why, why do I have values? Why do I say prayers? Okay. Why do I have these routines of, you know, I love eating with my hands growing up. I love. So, so nobody I understood love, that? Nobody understood okay. the culture. Michelle, I know we don't have much time. Um, hindi lingid sa kaalaman ng publiko ng sambayanan that I'm very, very close to your mother. I haven't seen Mimi, Mimi Lan in a while. I miss her. If she's watching, from the bottom of my heart, sobrang miss ko si Melanie Marquez. Ang tawag po namin ki Melanie ay Mimi Lani. How is she? Alam ko, uh, uh, did she encourage you? Does, it, does she discourage you from joining contests? No. At sobrang tapang ang nanay mo. Yes. Ang pagkakakilala ko. How much of you is your mother? My mom is, is with me 100%. Did she force me to join the pageant? No, she did not. Even my first pageant, she didn't. But she believes that I'm capable of greater things and a greater version of myself. And she supports me through and through. But Tito Boy, kasi may mga nangyari last year with my family na medyo, siyempre medyo mahirap po. Both my mom, kaya she's in the States now, she had to take a break because na accident po siya. My dad as well, na accident. And then I had to take on the responsibilities of both families. Which, you know, we can get, talk about further maybe next time. Pero, yeah. uh -oh. ayun po, last year was a very difficult year. Actually, one of my most difficult years. That's why I'm here. I'm, I'm joining the pageant again because I feel like I have so much to share and so yeah. much to prove and, and what so story. much inspiration yeah. to, to share to people that look up to me. Okay, yun po. The, the, the current is really more than just a title. It's really a platform for change, for positive change. And the sun. What is your prayer? Ah, Tito Boy, every time that I have the opportunity, to wish for something, I really just wish that everything falls into place. Pag said na said ka, pag sobrang down na down ka, kanino ka nagsusumbong, Michelle? My grandmother who passed away. Oh. Yes. And if you were to say something, if you were, if you were to talk to you, to mamita, to, you, to yes, your... Yes, my mamita. I know, to your mamita. Um, what would you say? Anong sasabihin mo sa kanya? Ngayon, as we talk. <laughs> I would... I would say thank you. Thank you for showing me goodness and for showing me kindness and for really inspiring me to see the best version of everyone, giving everyone the benefit of the doubt. But if she were here, I'd also love to apologize. Apologize for <laughs> Because when she passed away, I was medyo happy go lucky pa po. Hindi ko siya nabigyan ng madaming oras before she passed away. See so it. that's something. She's just there watching you. Mamita, I've learned so much from you. You're the reason why I find goodness in everything I see. And I wish we had more time together. I wish I could learn so much more. But I, I am trying the foundation that she put up 20 or, 20 or so years ago or even more. Mm -hmm. uh, I will try to sustain that and continue your legacy. And I miss you so much. And you're with me in everything I do. And thank you. Maraming salamat, Michelle. Thank you, Tito Boy. This is the first of many conversations yes. that we're going to do. Okay? I'm, I'm, I'm with you, and you take good care of yourself. Thank you, Tito Boy. God thank bless you. Me. All my love to you and to your family, especially to your mom. Thank you. Thank maraming, maraming salamat. Ken, maraming salamat. Thank you, Tito Boy. It's an oh, honor. Uh, magkaibang kwento, pero iisang pinanggagalingan puso. Maraming, maraming sa salamat sa inyong dalawa. Ito po ang kauna-unahang bersyon namin ng back-to-back -back talk uh, dito po edition, dito po sa Fast Talk with Boya Bunda. Naitay, kapuso, maraming salamat. Sa inyong pagpapatuloy po sa amin, Michelle, Ken, at ako, sa inyong mga puso at tahanan, maraming, maraming salamat. And always remember, be kind. Always make your nanay and tatay proud. Hashtag, say thank you. Let's talk again tomorrow. Goodbye for now. God bless.